Now then guys, welcome to Stars Gaming. I'm Luke and this is part four of my road to Kappa in Escape from Tarkov. I hope you enjoyed part three. It was a little bit different. It's a different format that I'm trying to play around with. Maybe just some highlight videos as well with just me commentating over the top. If you enjoyed that, please let me know down below in the comments. And as usual, if you're new to this channel and you've just clicked on this video or you've watched any of the others and you're not subscribed, please do. The aims to 250 subscribers by the end of the year. Can we do it? I really do hope so so today uh i want to try and play around with the scav a little bit um we're going to do a scav run i'm thinking maybe reserve just to um mix it up a little bit and see if we can get some scav calm points try and get up that way and then i'm going to go to woods and just try and get some more scav kills uh we need to try and find the uh one more can of beef stew so we're going to try and get that done and then we'll just move on from there and see how we're going to get on so let's get started shall we So before we actually jump into the woods raid, there's, they've added a couple of few things at level one therapist. We can now buy the scav, lucky scav junk box for 1.1 million. So I'm going to try and get to that money as quick as we can. We can also get the uh, the key, uh, two keys, which is the office key, which I don't know which office that's for. I don't know if that's for the profit quest. And this is for the water quest as well. So it's just meds for that. Then we need to look out for crackers and thingy. I don't know if we can just buy. Um, ah, okay. That's why the crackers are all out of stock. Um, the crackers are out of stock. These meds, obviously we just need to find clickers and stuff like that. So we're going to be on the lookout for bits and bobs like that. But yeah, we're going to go uh, go woods and make sure I've not got anything on me I don't need. Right, we're in woods. One thing I have done, I've added the 20 round mag to this gun. I don't actually know where we spawned. I don't know where we spawned. We spawned right next to Sniper. Right, let's see if we can get an easy scab kill off the bat. Straight up to sky, Sniper Rock, right? We've made it up to Sniper Rock. I'm just doing a quick bit of looting before we take a look to see if Sniper Scav is there. Motor bolts. I think generally that was a one hit kill. Not gonna lie, but that was a pretty sweet headshot then. One tap, one kill, lovely. Just kind of listening out here for a second because I'm hoping he didn't fall off the, the end. Just listening then, just in case someone else was coming up. Oh, for God's sake, Luke, do this jump. That would have been an absolutely wonderful headshot if that actually was a headshot. I probably could check, but... But, uh... Got the chains and stuff. Go to tasks. How, did we, how many did we have? Seven. Yeah, it was a headshot. Nice. I'm well happy with that. First proper shot. Now we've just got to hope he hasn't fallen off. He has not. I also don't want to get sniped. He's going to have an SKS in he? Okay. Check his pockets. Let's 
So, one scav down. Just a couple more to go. I just want to go loot his stuff. Just not up high. Head here for a second. I've only got one mag. Job from a distance, right? So down we go. We're, I'm guessing outskirts is going to be our there's movement just down there. Then I don't know if that was a scav or. Scab down. No scabs. Pockets, might as well search them. Let's go. Alright, that's two scabs. I'm just um, moving this hemostat here. Might be able to get eyes on. Whatever's going on over here. Got our look, haven't we? We've got to go at least try and investigate. Make these episodes a bit more fun. Be a bit more daring. It's just you. And there's people being left, right, and centre. This is going off at the village. I don't think my stamina's going up. I'm making my overweight, aren't I? Shit. Not this again. I might just get rid of the motor. Oh, shit. Death part. Didn't want to do that. I've got to watch out for these people behind me. Just trying to see if I can get eyes on from a distance. Push this way. See if we can get them from like the hill. Just do not want to be shot from behind. It's been a murder. I 
uh, someone else in the bushes then. So I need to start commentating a bit more when I'm doing this. But I'm just thinking, obviously, someone's probably going to go loot these bodies, right? Hello. Hello. Scab down. Probably shouldn't have done that, but screw it, we'll do it anyway. What well, annoyed me about that then? I was shooting the frigging rock then. I think maybe if he's going to come out left back here. Let's see if I can maybe move. Shooting down the back. So I want to see if I can get eyes on around the back instead then. If we can get him from a distance. It'll be pretty good. I've just got to watch out for them guys shoot. Coming from behind. I don't know if I had a better spot than before. Might push back. I don't want to go guns home and push straight into it. If there's two more fighting, surely one of them's going to go try and loot all the bodies. And that's kind of like my chance to try and get an easy kill, right? You'd like to think so. Right, I've got a plan. I don't know if this is going to work, but there's two of them. There we go. They went that side, so they're definitely going to be behind now. 
my thought is if they're going to come push me. Right, are they going to maybe flank it? That could have been Sturman and his boys there, but... Get over to them rocks. Oh, shit. I got shot from the right. From the right. Oh, yeah, ping from the right. Three scav kills, though. We'll take it. I know we've just lost some stuff. Um... Two pretty decent 85 metres, 100 metre headshot at the beginning. Yeah, that'll do. Still 1,000 XP. We're getting closer to level 9. That was a bit stupid then. I definitely stood still too quick, uh, too much. M80 rounds to the face. Uh, came, definitely came from the right-hand side. Um, I should have just pushed proper right round instead of um, watching that. I was stuck in my position. I feel like as soon as I moved... I was open, but hey, it's it's fun. We're making our way to them uh, to them kills we need to get. There's three more kills towards Woods to get a task done. Um, I'm thinking maybe, potentially, I want to get tasks done, and I want to level up as quick as we can as well. Um, we need more gas analyzers, and we need to get get the dorms key. So. Uh, let me have a think of what we're going to do. So I've opted for customs. Um, mainly because we've got the unknown key to do. And we've got that task to do. So we're going to try and head over there and get it done as quick as we can. And get out, maybe, just get a task done. We might actually quickly pop into the gas station. Might be able to see if we can get some cheeky kills there. We've gone with the shotgun, magnum buckshot. And see if it um, see if it does the job. See if we can get some scav kills. You never know. The Charlo and his men might be there. We can only hope, hey. We can only hope. Why is that flashing light? Is that flashing light always been there? Intrigued to see. on there. We've got the factory crew with us so we can run through and go get what we need to do. I feel like this is being me being a little bit stupid but wouldn't be me playing Tarkov without being stupid. shot in this window but you know you've got to peek this stuff sounds like it could be like an SKS I could search this stuff in here but do I get the quest or we do we try and get some kills I think we have to try and get the quest don't we unfortunately as much as I don't Wanna have to go get the quest? Right, now we need to survive. I might turn the power on. Go that way and run round. 
Oh, we need to find meds. So we do some looting. It sounded like an SKS, maybe a pistol or something. That nothing too geared we probably could have taken on, but sometimes quests are just as important. I'm checking these med boxes so we can see if we can get the the actual med stuff. Expected. Also sounded like there were shots coming from the skeleton building. Can we do this jump? I actually don't know where the jump is. Generally, would just like to extract if we can. Anything at the giving tree? Nope. Hit the stash. Nothing really great there. Let's get this med bag. amazing right there. It's over the road, isn't it? Yeah, crossroad trailer park. So we just need to head this way. <laughs> Fuck. I balls that up there. I don't know what was with that when I was shooting. Like, I completely lost the crosshair. Panic shot then, massively. Ah, that was pretty bad on my behalf. I'd say that was definitely bad. Hit count two and early did three damage. Obviously, absorbed by the fence. Damage absorbed by armor, 96. What, what did he head? BT. He had BT ammo, decent ammo. Just managed to headshot me. So we're just quickly jumping back, straight back in to customs. We've got a decent spawn near the giving tree. Uh, we're just going to go straight, see if we can get this unknown key, unlock it, get the task and just get out. This custom, uh, this uh, mission done. And um, we've got a decent spawn. We have a decent spawn. We've got the giving tree that's going to give us some lemonade. I'll jump over this before I get shot. I've opted to go for the MP5 this time around. Just to, you're not going to give me any meds. That's just crap. Jump out of there, please. Beck, I thought that bin bag was a uh, something. I've not used the MP5 in a while, and I've been told it's been it was quite fun and easy, kind of early wipe. We found some stuff to put on it, so I've actually modded it a little bit. So that should be a bit more fun, kind of modding it out. So again, still trying to do this unknown key. Don't know if to run straight there or not, or whether that's just going to be a little bit suicidal, but. Got to check these things. I've definitely found like the early raids at the minute it just sound extremely quiet. Jinxed it. 
Massively jinxed it. But we're going to go through. I don't think the boat is up. Can't see the smoke. Nope. Got to do it the hard way. Right. So pushing over this is a pain. Obviously, it's quite early on in the raid still. So people are still... Going to be at Big Red, people probably still going to be pushing over towards this way. Especially early white people spend a lot of time. Big Red, you've got the mission to go up into the office. Delivery from the past. We've got that. And we could wait around to see if someone opens it. Four is the door, and then kind of get out, but we just have to wait and see. I just want to try and get out of here if we can. Just a very quick Run in, run out. I know it's not the most entertaining sort of raid. But again, the whole idea is to get Kappa. And to get Kappa, we do anything means necessary. I try not to run the night raids just yet. Obviously, I don't have the night vision. But running a lot of things at night is, a, is quite a bit of fun. Right, the shot's off over there. Just let that happen. I'm literally just going to plan on getting out if we can. Hand the quest in. And then I might just do a scav run on interchange. See if we can loot up and get some some money. I want to maybe see if we can get enough to get the, uh, the scav junk box. Might not be able to, but we'll have to just wait and see on this. But what I might do is just try and run past if we can. And uh, loot this. Hopefully I don't get shot for looting. I just want to get the XP. Okay. Come on. Just getting the XP for the searching. Hopefully that comes through. We're in and out. That's what you want sometimes with these sort of quests. Especially the, the grab and go ones. Like if you get a clear one like we just had. We had the quest item, and we did get the run for unfortunately, which is uh, annoying. We only got 130 XP. And what I might do now, because we've got the quest item, I was either going to do the scav run, or I might just go to woods and take an extra mag with us. Or we could do PMC interchange. I think I might do PMC interchange instead. And see if we can grab, grab some stuff. But... Skier, this is going to put us to level 10 anyway. Job complete. What's on the flash drive? We need two flash drives. And then we've got the... Uh... Do you know what? Eliminate pe uh, people with pistols. Um, I might... I might do a... Um... Might do a pistol run on factory. I'm thinking that might be what we're going to be doing. So let me get myself sorted, and then we'll pistol run it on factory. Oh, yeah, we need to get the award as well. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're going to go factory and see if we can get some pistol kills. BPO, we've got some ammo for it. We've got some US dollars. It's handy to have. Right, Tarkov. First proper PMC factory run. I'm going to go with people who are probably going to be a bit more geared nowadays going into factory. We're at that level 9 point now, so we're just pushing to level 10, and then we, um, we've got ways to go to get to level 20 to get the flea market going, and hopefully we can push on and I can get some recording done, and then we hopefully we can uh, get to level 20 by the end of next week. Oh, all right. Shit, there's a spawn to our right nowadays. Oh shit. Moving, running. Med, just there. Uh. Uh. That's a dude with a pistol. He's 
come on. Look, you're an idiot. Got him. Whew. I should have had him anyway. I don't know if this is going to heal my light bleed. Hopefully it does. Yeah, it does. Right, okay. I didn't have a pistol. Did he only have the one mag with him? Yeah, it looks like he did. I'm going to unload this. Try and fill a mag up. That's one pistol kill down, though. That's why the armor worked. Heal up. And then we'll, um... We're just going to go there and try, try and search for the other guys. Did I drop... Have I dropped a mag? I think I have dropped a mag. I think I did the quick reload. What the hell? And I was just witnessed that. Well, that's the new shotgun. Grab that key. I don't know if that's a scab I can hear down below. Ah, oh, shit.
Got him. That's two. I might just get out. This could be a nice little win. There we go. We're going to end on a high. That's two pistol kills down. We're going to finish the next one off in the next episode. That was awesome. There we go. 3,600 experience points in there. A bear and a U-set killed. A scav, which was a very weird bugged out scab i'm not gonna lie but a boatload of experience points it's what we need to get to level 20 really in it um and yeah we're all right we we did all right the first fight I panicked a little bit the second fight i pushed him as soon as i saw him running down i thought screw it, i'm gonna push him because i realized he wasn't wearing any armor and i had armor so all i had to do is just try and just get that headshot and as soon as i relaxed a little bit instead of me aim i got him it's fine Right, the second guy, the first guy, again, the armour helped, definitely. I really just want to run back in and just see if I can try and get this last kill. I don't know whether we should or not. Yep. We're not going to stand there. People with pistol kills. Book it. Let's go find out where they are. Scalp down anyway. Job done. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Man, I'm happy about that. Like, ridiculously happy. So now I'm just listening out. So there's another dude definitely shooting at me before. Office area. See so if we can get these keys. Oh shit, I didn't take that, that key out. Don't need that key. 
I think this is the office. I don't know what key that is, actually. Figure out where I heard that noise coming from. Hmm. Is this safe free, do you reckon? Someone in there. He thinks I'm now running through there. Yep. That worked. Hiding in the bathroom. A drop down room. Oh, he got me. Damn. Oh, he's injured though. Hey, we got the task done. I probably should. I didn't realise there was a drop down room. I knew he was going to be in there. That was just a bit stupid of me. But he was a. Uh, he was pretty injured. But we managed to get the. Uh, the final pistol kill. Oh, I'm so happy with that. In my last... Yeah, it's fine, honestly. I generally don't care. Generally do not care. I know probably surviving the raid would have been a bit bit better, but... Three pistol kills done in two raids makes me a happy chappy. We've just done two quests. And this pistol one, obviously early wipe is pretty... Obviously, I've just shown how easy it is to do. Everyone's running pistols in factory at the minute. We um, Job done, though. Got it done. Complete. Um, 5,300 experience plus a nice big backpack. Um, so now we just need to get some flash drives done. 5,000 experience points. Does that put us... How close does that put us to level 10? Or has it actually put us at level 10? That We're 77 XP away from level 10. Hang on. Surely there's got to be something that needs examining on fence that's going to give us this. Come on. Is no one selling anything? Oh, this is annoying. 77 XP is all we need. Alright, we can't fit that big bag in here yet. So on that though, but so on that note though, we're gonna end this episode here. I'm super happy that we've managed to get them kills. That was fun. Um I probably should have done it a bit better to try and win that fight. I knew like I heard him like in the in the bathroom area and then I saw the new drop down bit and I was like, yeah, he's he's definitely in the drop down bit, isn't he? But it is what it is, it's fine. I I just as you can tell, happy that we've done that. I'm also happy we did the, the quick task as well. We're just running through customs. I know it was a run through and sometimes if you're gonna get your quests done, just get them done. 
It's easy XP. I don't worry about the run throughs. I don't. We're trying to get to Kappa um, at any means necessary, and we're just one step closer. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. It'd be awesome. And as usual, guys, I hope you're staying safe wherever you are. Take it easy, and I'll see you in a bit.